Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing another update on this setup. It is basically the same as uh, the previous video. What I've done now, I've put here a another transformer. The primary of this one has uh, like um, 1.5, 1.8 ohm resistance, so it's very low compared to the other one. The system is running a little bit faster now. Not that much. Still driving it on uh, 16 volts DC, and it's still pulling around yeah 20 milliamps. If I remove the power over here, it will keep spinning, still pulsing around 10 milliamps now. The voltage is around 14 volts now. The voltage in the source scrap is dropping a little bit slow because of the speed it has now. So that's a little bit good improvement uh, I still think it's pulsing a little bit this meter of river very low still have in there around um, 13 volts now so in case of improvement made on the uh, part of having enough voltage in the capacitor for a long period of time so that's a good thing because in the other video it was uh, already at around 10, 10 volts so what I'm going to do next is put these coils, they are now in series, I'm going to put it in parallel and see if it does anything or not. Other than that, everything is the same. Uh, someone asked me about this uh, circuitry. It is very simple, uh, just your normal uh, P-channel MOSFET circuit and the, the transformer is on the primary of... Uh, of the circuit that's about it and going to a full bridge rectifier and then back to the source uh, not much to say about it very simple still having in there around uh, 11 volts let me start it up one more time there's a positive there's a negative Oop. see around uh, 16 volts Remove it again. You can see it dropping. So it's not that bad. Still pulsing a little bit, but not enough, of course. Okay, doggy. Just a small update. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you for watching.